Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Here's our first attempt at turning a famous board game into the video game realm, and it's what you'd expect. Monopoly. I'm just going to say it right now, I enjoy Monopoly. I know how to win at Monopoly more often than not, and I set forth to do it here. Spoiler, my technique is strong. You begin by choosing your players up to ten. If you somehow have 10 people wanting to play Monopoly, huddling around the 17-inch black and white in 1988 probably isn't the best way to do it. You can set the difficulty of each computer opponent from beginner, intermediate, and expert. Then roll to decide the order of play and begin. The game follows the rules very well. It even tells you if you made a good choice or not of the income tax square. With all the buying and selling of properties, houses, hotels, and get-out-of-jail-free cards is here. Auctions for properties you don't want or can't afford are there. Trading properties is here, but seems to only be a one-for-one -one trade, which is rarely is something a normal player would do. Paying off debts is made fairly easy with mortgaging and offering properties for sale, but if no one is willing to buy them, it's time to file for bankruptcy. When you roll, you're taken to a close-up of the board where the piece moves from the spot it was on to where it will end. It elongates the game, though, and you're more likely to turn it off after a while, which you can do in the options. You can also remove a human player or take over a computer player. There's even a battery backup, so you can save your game if you need to stop for whatever reason. I won a three-player game without any problem. Then I tried a six-player game and was able to get the only Monopoly, but on Baltic and Mediterranean. One player would attempt to buy every property on its turn, and I started to get annoyed by how long the game was becoming, so I stopped. But no one else would have been able to get a Monopoly, so I would have won through attrition once I got hotels on my properties and forced bankruptcy on one player. When it comes to grading Monopoly on Sega Master System, graphics get a 2.0. The graphics as the pieces move is good, the rest is not so great. Sound gets a 0.5. The music loops after a few seconds and is super tinny and bad. Gameplay gets a 2.5. This is a very accurate representation of Monopoly. Difficulty gets a 1.5. Monopoly is a game of strategy and attrition. This is true here. Fun Factor gets a 2.0. I had fun with it until the computer couldn't get any headway on me and played the stalling game. Overall, Monopoly earns a 1.7 and gets a C-. If you like Monopoly, you'll like this. If you don't, you won't. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Monopoly in the comments. And please subscribe to Headdrop Productions. Because we want to see you here for each and every video we release. Because it is your destiny.